Hi everybody, Jackie here with Morgan from Omega One. How are you doing today? Great, how are you? Doing great. So today we're gonna to be talking about Omega One's flareless fittings line. And we've talked before about the flared fittings that you guys do. And so these ones are a little bit different. We're kind of gonna talk about that today. Right. So the flareless fitting um, is also just like the flare fitting, a metal to metal seal. Um, so you're getting a, a solid um, high pressure seal with the tube, but as opposed to sealing on a machine surface, the butt end of the tube will seal uh, deep within the fitting body. Um, there, as, as with the flare fitting, there's three components. There's the fitting body itself, there's the uh, nut, and then there's the ferrule. The ferrule bites into the tube in the case of the flareless fitting, which we call that the Omega Bite product line. And and then it draw as you tighten the nut um, up against the fitting body, it draws the tube into and seats it properly within the fitting. So you can see this is the flareless uh, style setting. Um, you've got the uh, ferrule, which is bit into the tube. And then we've got the nut that will fit on. And then we have the flareless body, so you have your fitting together and then as you tighten the fitting in the nut draw together for the metal metal to metal seal. The flareless fitting is designed to work with heavier wall tubing. Um, the minimum wall for the tubing is usually uh, 028 to um, 095 inch wall, um, usually DOM material 304 or 306 stainless, um, and then DOM is drawn over, uh, over mandrel. Um, it's recommended that uh, flare, the tubing used for flareless application is the ASTM A213 or the A269 standard with a minimum of a B90 Rockwell. Um, and there's no flaring of it, so you don't have a uh, maximum wall um, you can get with a very thick wall. I've even heard of people using this with pipe. Um, the flare, the ferrule for the flareless fitting is manufactured from 17.4 pH stainless steel and that's just so that it has the uh, durability and hardness to actually bite into the tube. Um, this is a very serviceable fitting. Um, it is uh, very ideal for high pressure, handles vibration well. The tricky part of this fitting is the fact that installation takes a little bit of, it takes a little bit more time and it's, it requires precision. Uh, whereas with flare fittings, they're a little easier to, just, to assemble and not quite as um, finicky about the uh, installation process. Yeah, so you gotta have a little bit more finesse with the, with the flareless yes. fittings. So, you know, depending on what your needs are, the advantages and disadvantages of both the flared and the flareless fittings um, have been discussed in our videos. And if you're not sure still, you can always give Omega One a call. Um, they have sales people, engineers, and staff ready to answer your questions, take your calls, and help you find the right product for you. You can give them a call at 800-333-2636 or visit them at omega1.com to download product catalogs, view more information, and see their whole inventory of products. So thank you, Morgan, so much for talking to us about this today. All right, thank you.